Okay, so there's the check for $1,257.67 to me. All right, so it's great to have a check for $1,250, but how I got it broke a lot of my rules, and uh, that's the topic of this video. So where did I get the money? Gambling. I think gambling is the absolute worst thing. I am in markets and you'd think those two things go together, but if you want to be in markets and be successful, you can't be a gambler. You can't think like a gambler, and if you feel like you're gambling, you're going to lose. Everybody in Vegas loses. Someone might tell you that they are a gambler or that they won, guaranteed they've lost more than they won. I remember listening to Steve Wynn, who owns the Wynn Casinos, uh, some of the biggest ones in Vegas, and he out and out said it. He said, nobody wins. Everybody comes here and loses. That, you know, that's why he's a billionaire. Um, basically, gambling is giving your money away, and maybe you get some entertainment about of that, and I guess that's fine, but I am dead against gambling. So what am I doing gambling? I can tell you that I hate it. I think it ruins people's lives. I think it's a terrible addiction. I think that governments are disgraceful for allowing and even promoting as much gambling as they do. So why did I gamble? One, it was an ego thing. And two, I really thought I had an edge. Um, if you remember back a few months, I kind of went off on the weekend at Forex Live. And I like to have a little bit of fun on the weekend, although it seemed to tick a few people off. I went on a little bit of a rant about Floyd Mayweather fighting Conor McGregor in a boxing match. And I basically wrote that betting on Floyd Mayweather was free money, that it was safer than a treasury bill. It was a guaranteed win because so much dumb money was coming in and betting on Conor McGregor that it had pushed the odds down to unreasonable levels. So I, I really did believe it and the odds just kept getting better for Floyd Mayweather and I had kind of said this publicly and you know I was a little bit over the top naturally um, trying to have some fun and so Whatever, I said it, and you know, you gotta put your money where your mouth is. I, I talk about a lot of things on Forex Live, and usually I have money on what I'm saying, and I thought, hey, why should this be any different? So I went about trying to bet on Floyd Mayweather. And the lesson here is that it's a huge ripoff. Um, the odds were pretty good. I, I should have earned more for Floyd Mayweather, but when you add in all the costs and all the hassle, it just was a, an irritating waste of time. And sure, I made a little bit of money, um, but it, it was like so many costs were involved. Let's break it down. So it was a thousand dollar bet that paid out $1,257 or thereabouts. Um, in order to get the nice round number in there, first I had to set up the account. First I tried to do it with one bookie and they were rejecting my ID for some reason and I sent it twice and it was a hassle. So I went to another one and I was really nervous about sending all this stuff because obviously I thought they were gonna steal my ID or I wasn't gonna get the money back. Anyway, I did get the money back so that was good news but I eventually got it in there and then it was about getting the money to them. So first I tried a credit card and I didn't really feel great about that. And I put in like $50 and then like right away I get a $25 fee from my bank or my credit card. So it's $25 off right off the hop. And then I thought, well, let's get this out of here and we'll use a prepaid visa. So I went and got one of those and the max that you could put on was $500. So I got two of those and I um, had to pay a $7 fee for each one of those. So there's $14 off. And then I put in the money and it would only take like $470 from each of them. It wouldn't let me do any more than that. So I was able to do that. And that I guess all went through fine into the account. And then I had also on those cards 
like a mystery $25 fee as well. So 25, 25, 25, and 14, uh, you know, you're almost up to $100 right there in fees. So $250 is now like $150 and change. So point being, is sports gambling even if you have an edge it's very tough to make money unless you're betting way too much money the costs the hassle the risks the uncertainty i i don't feel very good about it i don't like it and i don't do it but uh hey listen if you can get an edge in anything i think uh you should at least investigate taking it and that's what this was all about how about you? What do you think about gambling or sports gambling in general? Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know about what you think about different ways to make money aside from trading in Forex or financial markets. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry to the people who got super upset when I wrote about uh, betting on Floyd Mayweather. Uh, you know, I was right. <laughs> he won. Uh, he always wins. I don't like the guy. I would love to see him lose, but uh, you know, 50 and 0, and he wasn't going to lose to an MMA fighter. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you next time.